Welcome to EBI SQL e invoice sharing. We proudly invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the ambassadors and speakers of SQL accounting software. He is a CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share a series of Q&A about e-invoice to all of you. If you are first time watching this video, please watch our previous video so that you can get the better understanding of e-invoice. What's the process of e-invoice? Now, first of all, the flow of e-invoicing will be the most important thing that you must understand. As I mentioned before, in e-invoice era, when you're creating your e-invoice, you need to get approval from LHDN. There are two options you can do this. First option will be through LHDN, my invoice portal. You can go into this portal, then issue your e-invoice inside this portal, send to LHDN, get approval, then send to your customer. The second option will be you have your own accounting software or post system that already approved by LHDN. You key your e-invoice inside this system, send to LHDN, using a API, then get approval from LHDN. Then only you can send the approved e-invoice to your customer. At this point of time, LHDN will actually send an email to notify you and another email to notify your customer about this new e-invoice. You have the right to cancel this e-invoice within 72 hours and your customer will also have the right to reject this e-invoice within 72 hours, meaning that any cancellations or rejection of e-invoice after 72 hours, you need to go through the process of credit note and debit note. And the same things need to go through the e-invoice flow again. Now, if there's any cancellations or rejections, LHDN will notify you and your customer using email. There's no editing of invoice or e-invoice by you or your customer after you get the approval from LHDN. So, if you tend to do editing of invoice, maybe you need to think twice because this will no longer allow in e-invoice era. If there is no rejection or cancellation of e-invoice, the information will be kept by LHDN inside the portal and you or your customer can actually refer to this portal to get back this e-invoice information. So basically, this is the flow of e-invoice. You can see that all the process will go through the validations and also the notification by LHDN. Another thing that is very important will be the email address. Wow, sounds very complicated. Thanks, Brian, for the very detailed explanations of what is the process of e-invoice. If you would like to know more about the e-invoice and the process and which methods that you need to choose, stay tuned with us. Thank you. Bye.